guys, welcome back to 25 Sweepies and welcome to day 10 of Nail Miss. I can't believe how far along we are in this already. Today I decided to do a fun little wintry woodsy scene. I've actually done this type of design a lot. I actually did it I think for the first time like maybe in 2013 or 15. I don't know. Years are hard sometimes when you're trying to think of what nail art you did when whenever you've done as much as I have. But um... That is what we're doing here. So I'm going to start with kind of a maroon base. Originally I did this with a red, but today I thought I would change it up by using the Painted Phalanges. That's my spot polish that I recently swatched in a video. Plus it's just a really fun kind of holiday maroon shade that I really have been enjoying and wanted to do some nail art on top of it. Then after that is all good and dry, you're going to start to create your snowy ground. So the like a really important part of this is like not having an even ground. You want it to kind of look like snow drifts. So feel free to have a wavy line. Don't worry about it being perfect. And just make sure that your tip is covered in white nail polish. Or you could use acrylic paint, but I did go ahead and use nail polish for that step. And I just used the nail polish brush that the polish had in the bottle. But then after that, you're going to go in with some white acrylic paint and a short brush. I used the Orly Short Detailer brush again. And I created some cute little like wintry tree silhouettes almost. They're not like real looking like trees by any means. They're kind of frilly and cute. Kind of like how you would see icing done on a cookie that was just, you know, white icing on a cookie that they use to do like line work. I really like that type so that's why I kind of went with a line work tree for this video but you're gonna go ahead and do whatever you want you can do like little curled curvy branches you can do straight branches whatever you want is up to you and I like to, to vary like two to three trees per nail just depending on how big of the space you're working with and that is completely up to you so let's speed through this process and then I put on my top coat and here was my final look. I really like how these came out. They were super simple, cute, and just kind of a fun festive manicure that could also really be worn all winter. So that is it for day 10. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have been enjoying the series overall. I love doing Nail Miss. And I can't wait to be back tomorrow for Nail Miss Day 11. So I will see you then. Bye.